welcome. Today, I'm here to showcase the open source telemedicine application by Health Samurai. Our app has three roles, the patient, the practitioner, and the administrator. Let's start with the patient's perspective. To begin, a new user can sign up as a patient. After entering the necessary details, they'll receive a confirmation email. Once they verify their email, they can access their account. In the account, the patient provides basic information such as their name, date of birth, and location. When a patient wants to schedule an appointment, the process is straightforward. They select a practitioner, choose a date and time, and mention their concern, for example, a headache. After confirming the appointment, the patient has the option to chat with a practitioner. Now, let's transition and take a look at the practitioner's role. Moving into the practitioner's profile. Here, adjustments to personal details can be made. Additionally, practitioners can define their work schedule by setting time intervals and deciding on the duration of each appointment on particular days. Next, we head over to the appointments list. See that new appointment? That's the one we set up from the patient side. Details can be viewed, and there's an option to communicate via chat. For practitioners, there's flexibility at hand. If there's a need to cancel an appointment or start a video call on the spot, it's all possible right here. Speaking of video calls, we're integrated with Twilio. Before joining the session, users have the option to adjust video and audio settings. During the call, chatting remains an option. It serves as a useful tool for both practitioner and patient to record any essential notes or messages. Once the call concludes, ending it is just a click away. For those wanting a recap, the History tab archives all past appointments and chats. Let's now sign in as an administrator. In the first section of the menu, you'll find a log of all emails that have been sent. In the next section, there's a comprehensive list of all patients stored in the database. Moving on to the third section, it displays all patients, practitioners, and administrators. For both patients and practitioners, editing personal information is straightforward. Additionally, you have the capability to create and delete entries for patients and practitioners. That wraps up today's demo of the interface and its various use cases. If you're intrigued and wish to explore further, don't hesitate to install the sample. Just follow the provided instructions.